as a producer, I was responsible for the budget, and and uh, it was very expensive for Love Records to be in in Stockholm. Uh, we had the hotels, we had the day money, we had the studio, you know. So there was a lot of pressure. But on the other hand, there were artistic reasons for it too, because in order to get the live sound, I didn't want to have them to give them too much time, uh, because I think the freshness comes out of doing things fairly instantly. The adrenaline is what drives the music. So not giving them too much time to work on the backgrounds was an adrenaline question. And especially with Albert's solos, it was really important. Because Albert was a guy who could do, spend 20 days doing one solo, you know? Not, not because he wanted necessarily to make it better, but he enjoyed the experience of recording solos. So I, 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 I said to him, you know, you've got two chances. And I think the first time we tried the, the solos, uh, it wasn't working at all. As I remember, the next day he came in and did them all, dang, because he wanted to show us. And they were fun, they were fun. Albert Yervinen was a world-class guitarist, without doubt. And, and uh, the word legend is kind of overused in Finland. Everybody's a fucking legend these days, but Albert was. Just <laughs> Mun filmejä katselee, kun niissä on kaikki päivämäärät, jotka mä panin tarkkaan, milloin filmi on kehitetty, että ne on hyvinkin luotettavia päivämääriä. Niin 73, Hurriganissa on 73 tammikuulta, jonnekin 74 loppuvuoteen, tosin 75kin löytyy muutama filmi otettu ja 76, niin kuin ollaan ihan, ihan siis alle viiden filmin otoksessa. Että semmonen tavallaan oli tehnyt sen, mitä voi. Ja sen jälkeen, jos olisi ruvennut tekemään, sitten sit olisi tullut sellainen niin tehdasmainen liukuhiina homma, johon mä en ollut kauhean kiinnostunut menemään, vaan mä keksin ihan muita juttuja sitten tehdä, voidakseni elää. We actually recorded this background of Get On with uh, Remu singing. And it was a whole song, and it was really kind of quite hypnotic. And uh, we decided that that it would work. As I recall, that was it. <laughs> the one we recorded was was the one we actually used. <laughs> Remo sang again on top of it, removed the original vocal. We tried to do something with the lyrics so it wasn't so repetitive. And at the end I said to Remo, um, uh, the last thing you should say is uh, stop the music, I got a smoke. You know? uh, and many people have, have totally misinterpreted this. So. Stop the music, I got a Now, I didn't think it was the greatest thing in, since sliced bread, but it was a good, powerful song that really just got you going, because it was going at such a frenetic pace. 